Oof. Hopkinton High School, and welcome to the first episode of HHS Today for the 2020-21 year. I'm your host, Eve Weatherhead, and the HHS TV class has been working very hard to bring you a great first episode. Did you know that our program is not just on YouTube, we actually air on HCAM Ed, a cable TV channel here in Hopkinton. It's all part of the multimedia empire. Today, we'll have a segment called Three Questions with our superintendent, Dr. Kavanaugh the question of the day, and Hiller's sports updates, and more. First up, flame test in the science department. So here's Copper. I think that might be my favorite. Has anybody seen Wicked? Oh, have you seen the show Wicked? So pyrotechnics. If you've ever seen a concert or a, a performance where they have exciting flashes of colored light, it's oftentimes from flame tests. So scientists were wondering, wow, this is really interesting because Copper always gives out that color. Yeah, it looks like right. it's sea green. Kind of that secret, yeah, it's a really pretty one. And we'll do one more. This is lithium. I like this one too. This is that really rich, like pinkish red. They're really cool. Do you need any more reason to sign up for science? Thanks for letting us know about that, Miss Murphy. If you are in class with a cool project, speaker, or demonstration, make sure to let us know. Now, everything is strange. We get it. But we'll get through this. And then it's time for one more thing that makes our community great, volunteering. This year, HHS senior Megan Murchie created a new website to get us connected. Check it out. Hi, I'm Megan Murchie, and I'm currently a junior at the Hopkinton High School, and I'm also a Girl Scout, and I've chosen to pursue my gold award. For my project, I partnered with the Community Communications Group and have created a website called Hopkinton Cares. The purpose of Hopkinton Cares is to connect volunteers with a nonprofit organization. I'm very passionate about volunteering, and my website is a great way for organizations to find people in our community who are looking to volunteer. If you are a member of a nonprofit or someone looking to help out, please visit HopkintonCares.org and get connected. Register now, and you'll be in the known as volunteer opportunities are opening up. Next up is our three question segment with Sienna. I'm Sienna from HHS TV with a segment called Three Questions. Our guest is the school superintendent, Dr. Kavanaugh. Welcome. Thank you for having me. There's a lot of things that are different this year. Can you tell me what you think has been the most effective? Since June 25th, we have been in a place where we're trying to catch up. We have to develop a learning plan, and then we develop a learning plan, and then we have to think about what it will look like if a student tests positive for COVID. And then we have to think about what will athletics look like. So. You know, and, and I could go on and on, what would transportation look like, what would food service look like? So we have been doing this all summer long, and I think we've done both a really, really good job at doing this. I mean, there are some schools that their hybrid kits go 40% of the time, our kits go 50% of the time. Our administrators, our teachers, and our students are working as hard as they possibly can, and, and I mean our entire staff too, our paraprofessionals, our cafeteria workers, our bus drivers, our custodial staff. Our next question for you is, what do you think snow days will look like? 
<laughs> I'm thinking that um, in the event that it's very snowy outside, we could probably just switch to entirely remote instruction for that day. The only time when I think that we might have to call a snow day is if there was widespread power outages in town. All right, lastly, we know you are constantly thinking about if we have to go full remote at any point, and the cases in Massachusetts seem to be rising. Can you tell us what goes into your decision and what your concern is with the current status? We look first at how many cases are there in Hopkinton, and then we think about the situationality of those cases. So if they were students between the ages of 3 and 22, we would say we have a problem in our public schools. But say you had five new cases and it was a family of five who had traveled out of the country somewhere and came back and all tested COVID positive, that wouldn't impact our schools at all. If a student tests positive, what we try to do is really eliminate the shutting down of a classroom. But if we have to, we do. Or shutting down a grade level or shutting down a building. You know, the only time that we would move to that is if we really didn't know how widespread the contact tracing was. What we're really hoping I can put in my plug for this is that people are wearing their masks, washing their hands, staying socially distanced at six feet, and doing all of the right things, staying home if you're not feeling well, all the things that we know are COVID best practices. Well, thank you so much for coming to answer our questions, and we really appreciate it. Well, thank you. I really appreciate coming. Awesome job, Sienna, and our thanks to Dr. Kavanaugh for all her work. Hey, do you know about the Hillers Fall sports season is on? And it's airing on HCAM Ed. The first weekend of games was October 10th and 11th. Let's check it out. The last weekend saw six games at the Hopkinton High School turf fields. The action kicked off on a beautiful sunny yet windy Saturday, October 10th at 9 a.m. with JV girls field hockey. It was a well-played game by both teams and Medway won the JV battle 3-0. The varsity field hockey game followed and Alyssa Souza scored the first goal of the game with 10-15 left in the first quarter. And then Sarah Doyle added another goal for the Hillers in the second quarter. The Hillers varsity took the game over Medway 2-1. Next, our Hillers girls varsity soccer took on Medway in the third game of the day at the turf fields. Good goaltending by Kristen McCluskey and a strong defense by both teams kept the game scoreless and ended in a 0-0 draw. Hillers JV girls soccer and Medway played a very good game. It was a scoreless game until the second half, Medway netted a goal in the third quarter, and the Hillers had a goal of their own in the fourth quarter. The game ended in a one-to-one -one tie. On Sunday, October 11th, Hopkinton Hillers JV and soccer, varsity soccer took place at the turf fields. The Hillers JV boys started off the action where the second quarter, Brian Goo netted a goal for the Hillers with 15:41 left in the half to make a 2-0 Hillers lead. And that's how the game would stay as Hawkinton took the 2-1 to one win. Then Hillers versus Medway was the final game at the turf fields and it was an action-packed contest which featured three goals from each team which ended in a 3-3 to three draw. Owen Schnur netted the, a nice goal to make it a 2-2 two to two game. This weekend, HCAM will, be, will again be broadcasting all the action live so if you can't be there, check it out on the HCAM Ed on their YouTube channel. What's awesome about this is that it's live on the air for those who can't attend. So tune in on HCAM Ed this weekend. But first, let's turn to a classic HHS Today segment. Question of the day. I think the best part about being back in school is getting to see my friends again, definitely. Because, um, you know, it's not, there's nothing like seeing them in person. There's that whole social value to it. Being able to see my friends again and playing sports again. Oh, by far and away, seeing all the students live and in person again. Seeing friends. And it's going to sound cheesy, but really the real answer is I love being here uh, and kind of seeing my colleagues and working with folks and of course seeing uh, the students. It's fun. I like being around my friends. Getting to see all my friends again. Not having to Zoom as often. First part is I'm happy to be back with students working on projects. And the second part is I feel like I'm finally giving my cat a break and he's got the house to himself again. The, the off day. day. We, we get, get to see our friends. <laughs> I'm really excited to be back seeing all the students and just feeling the energy again after a quiet uh, summer. It's good to be back. Seeing, uh, seeing some people, do, getting back into the groove of things. My favorite part about being back at school is uh, seeing my friends after a long quarantine. Seeing my friends. I'm seeing my friends. Today, we are giving out free lip balms to everyone who answers. Okay, our last segment is an interview with the Mock Trail team. 
a pretty cool club. Enjoy. Hello, HHS TV. I am Marissa, and I'm going to be interviewing the Mock Trials Club. So, yeah, welcome. Um, first question is, what is your mission or your goal out of the Mock Trials Club? I think our main goal is just to really get a sense of court and law procedures because we're going to actual um, or we're using a case and modeling that exactly in the courtroom or this year on Zoom. What are some reasons someone would want to join a club? You definitely get a lot of uh, different experiences out of it. Uh, you learn a lot about law and courtroom procedure. You get to uh, kind of play a role. You learn a little bit about acting like that and public speaking. You definitely get to refine those skills uh, in a different environment than usual and use them in other places. Tell me some of your activities that your club likes to do. We are going to just practice with a mini trial and learn the basics. And moving forward, we focus on one big um, packet of information and form affidavits for each of our witnesses and work on practicing and refining those skills. What do you hope students will learn and take away from this club? Um, I think a really big part of this club, as Aaron and Grace mentioned, is definitely um, just like being more confident in like talking to like a large audience and just like refining like and like learning a little bit about like how lawyers present cases and how witnesses act during cases. That's a huge part and that's something I hope that new members will enjoy in the club. And lastly, if someone were want to join the club, how would they join? Basically, we have um, a Google form on the student memo that you can put your email down and we'll add you to the email list. We just started meeting, so now is a perfect time to join for any newcomers. We meet every Thursday from 3 to 4. That's great. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Always room for another prosecutor, so if that looks like fun to you, check them out. Last but never least, it's time for Have You Seen This? This is a photo of somewhere in HHS. Have you seen this? Send us an email at the location, and if we pick your name, you'll win a fabulous HCAM swag. This week, we're giving away a very nice water cup, so start looking. And if we have any thoughts on the activities we should cover, segments to make, or comments and suggestions, send them along too. You'll never know what ideas we think are cool enough to reward. Want a chance for a prize? Email us with the cable channel number of HCAM Ed. There you go. Our address is hhstv at hillers.org or visit our website at hhs.today and tell us everything. Until next time, for everyone here at the Studio C205, I'm Eve Weatherhead and stay connected, everyone. That was great. Okay, our last segment is an interview with the Mocking Trail team, a pretty cool club. Oh, that's mock, mock track. <laughs> I'm thinking of to kill a mockingbird. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh. I need some water.